Hi friends, so welcome to Oracle Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see numeric function round. This function round returns a number rounded to the nearest integer. Here we can see the syntax for this function round. Round of number, then decimal place. Here the second parameter that is decimal place is an optional parameter. We will see some examples using our Oracle Express application so that it will be more uh, clear. Select round of 123.345 from dual. We will run this query uh, without our second parameter. And here we can see the result. It's a 123. This query is the same as uh, with our second parameter. Here we will give 0. We will get the same result. Here we can see that. Here we given the decimal places as 0. That means so here it will uh, won't consider these uh, uh, fractional values. It will consider only this uh, 1, 2, 3. But here we can see the value is 3. It is less than 5, so it won't round to 124. So we are getting the answer as 123. In the next example, it will be more clear. So we will give select round of 123 dot. Here we will give 654 from dual. This query is also same uh, as comma zero so we will run this query here we can see the result it's 124 and we will run the second query same result 124 here we can see it rounded up uh, here we given uh, this uh, decimal uh, places as zero uh, we should not consider the fractional values we have to consider only 123 but here we have to uh, take the first fractional value is 6 it's above 5 so we have to round up 123 to 124 we will see some more examples uh, so that it will be more clear select round of 123.654 here we are going to give uh, 1 from dual and we will run this query and here we can see the result 123.7 here we given the decimal places as 1 here we have to consider uh, the first decimal value uh, here it's 6 so we have to get the answer as 123.6 but here we can see the next uh, decimal value is uh, greater than or equal to 5 so we will get the answer as 123.7 Coming to the next query, uh, we will copy this query and we will make the change in the second parameter from 1 to 2. Here we can see we have to consider the two decimal points here. It is 123.65 and here we can see the next decimal point is 4, a value is 4. So no need to round up, we will get the answer as 123.65. Here we can see the result. Coming to the next query. Here we will give a 3. And we will run this query. 123.654. Uh, so we have to consider uh, these 3 uh, decimal values. Here we can see the result. Next we are going to see instead of 3 here we are going to give a negative number negative 1 here we given this decimal place as minus 1 that means we have to consider uh, before this uh, decimal uh, point so here it comes uh, this 3 
we have to consider only this uh, 1 and 2 so we have to get the answer as 12 uh, it's not 12 because it's a three digit number so we will get 1 2 then the third digit will be 0 so we will get the answer as 120 sure we can see the result suppose uh, the same query here we are going to give one uh, 125 or 128 then what will be the result obviously it will be 130 because we have to consider 1 2 here we can see this value is 8 uh, greater than or equal to 5 so it will uh, round this number uh, 2 2 3 so we will get the answer as 130 sure we can see the result we will see some more queries so that it will be more clear we will copy this query and here we are going to give minus 2 decimal places be given as minus 2 so before uh, this uh, decimal point uh, two digits so we have only uh, number one is remaining but three digit so one zero zero uh, here we can see uh, this is a less than 5 so no change 100 zero, zero. we have to get the answer as 100 here we can see the result same query with a little modification here we are going to give 188 so that we will get the answer as 200 here this number is uh, uh, greater than 5 this one will become two then uh, two zeros 200 here we can see the result now we will give minus three here are all these three digits so before that we don't have any more uh, digits so we have to get the answer as zero three zeros it's equal to uh, zero here we can see that same query with uh, some uh, modification here we are going to give a triple eight then uh, here we can see uh, this uh, decimal places we given as minus three oh what is the result here here we can see we given this uh, decimal places as 3 so we have to uh, consider uh, before this decimal 3 digits then we don't have any more digits uh, before uh, these uh, 3 digits but here we can see we have uh, here the digit is 8 it's greater than 5 so uh, we have to consider 1 before this 1 0 0 0 so we have to get the answer as 1000 1000 here we can see that We will see one more uh, final query. We will give your one more eight, and here we will give minus four. That means all uh, these uh, four digits. So you will get here one zero 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 zero. That means ten thousand. Here we can see the result. Right. In this video we have seen uh, the numeric function round friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, please comment below for more videos consider subscribing and we will meet again with the next video thank you